Hey guys, Long from the Ecom Zone and Meta Ads just rolled out a massive change on my ad account. So if you guys don't know already, they're basically trying to merge manual campaigns with advantage shopping campaigns. And it just hit my account today. So if you click create, tap sales and continue, you can see now that we're brought to this screen where it opens up a completely new campaign and it doesn't let me select manual or advantage shopping campaign. So what does it say here? You no longer need to choose a campaign setup. Now called Advantage Plus Sales Campaign, formerly called Advantage Plus Shopping Campaign. This setup is on by default, maximizing performance with AI. Manual options are still available. You can still find all the options previously available in Manual Sales Campaign. So I'll just click OK. So this is the new setup now. So let me show you how the campaign setup usually is if I go into my other ad account. So on this ad account, if we click create, hit the sales button, and then click continue, you can see here we could choose the campaign setup, advantage plus shopping campaign, and also manual sales campaign. And I like to stick with manual sales campaign, so I could create ABO and CBO campaigns, both for testing and scaling. So when you hit continue, this is what it would look like. So you still get this campaign setup screen, you can toggle this campaign budget on and off at the campaign level. However, if we go over to the new campaign setup, you can see here that the budget is on. You can't actually switch this off. So the weird thing is they display it on here, but we can't actually click it. Ah, okay, because there's only one ad set. Okay, so let me duplicate this. So this is completely new to me, guys. I just want to show you guys what I'm seeing because this is a massive change. So if I go back to campaign level, ah, I can set an ad set budget. Okay, so you can actually create ABO campaigns still. I thought you couldn't because it was grayed out, but I'm wrong. You can actually create ABO campaigns still. It's just that they've merged Advantage Plus Shopping Campaign with Manual Campaign, and now it's called Advantage Plus Sales Campaign. So how I usually like to name campaigns is top to funnel 2503, which stands for 2025 March. Product category or name, so it depends if you're running a niche store or you're trying to run ads for one specific hero or winning product. And then I like to put testing because it's a test campaign and then V1. So we are still able to create CBO and ABO campaigns here, but you just have to create another ad set. So campaign budget, you can set 100 or 50 if you're just starting out. And if you toggle ad set budget, then you will set the budget at ad set level. Meta as does suggest the campaign budget because it does decrease cost per result by up to 4.6%. The benefit with running ABO campaigns is that you could test and scale within the campaign without affecting the other ad sets. However, with a CBO campaign, if you switch off an ad set, it will distribute the spend differently and if you try to add more ad sets into this, then it will affect the other ad sets because it's £100 split between all your ad sets. So let's say you start with five and then you try to add 10 more, that £100 will be distributed amongst the 15, right? Um, and the problem with that is that Facebook won't uh, distribute the spend evenly across the ad sets. That's why I prefer ad set budget so that I give each ad set a chance to perform. However, if you want to rely more on the Facebook algorithm, then you just click CBO and let it do its thing. So I also want to mention the Advantage Plus catalog ads. If you don't know what this is, basically if you run a Shopify store, you can connect your Shopify product catalog over to Meta and you can create different categories within Meta ads. So let's just say you're running a jewelry store and you've got necklace, earrings, rings and bracelets. You can create four different categories on Meta Ads with all your products within those collections from Shopify. So whenever you add new products into your Shopify store, Meta Ads will pick this up. So let's just say you add five more earrings today, Meta Ads will pick that up. It may take a few hours, but once it picks up and you have dynamic ads on, it will send out those products to your customers and start displaying them in those ads. And it's all automated, that's why I love it. So let's just go on to ad set level with the campaign budget setting. So the first thing we want to talk about is conversion location. This is new for me. For me, I will be leaving this because I don't have an app. 
some of you guys may be in the US and you'll see like website and shop app and app maybe, I'm not too sure, but I like to just use website. The reason why I don't recommend you guys click the shop and website one is because when you direct users to the Facebook shop, you can't actually retarget them or collect their customer details or the emails, etc. So you can send them promo emails. And that's why I prefer to send them to my website so you can collect all that data. Performance goal should always be maximum value of conversions and it should be always purchases. ROAS goal, I set this to none. This is actually new, I haven't seen this before. So with attribution setting, I'll do seven day click and one day view. That's the setting I've been using for the past five years. And then here you can see the product set for promoted products. So as I said before, you can create different collections. As you can see here, this product set contains 37,000 products. Now I don't have 37,000 individual products on my store. However, there are different variants for each product. For example, with earrings, you can have gold variant, rose gold and silver, and that will count as three products, but on your store it will count as one. Budget and schedule. So we'll set this to the next day at 0000 GMT. Some of you guys may be 12 a.m. and not 00, so if you try to type 00, it won't work. And then ad set spending limits, you can actually add this as well. So you can set a minimum spend of let's just say 10 pounds and leave the maximum. You don't wanna cap how much it spends per campaign. You just wanna make sure Facebook allocates at least 10 pounds to each ad set so that it gives it a chance, right? So if the budget is £100 and I have five ad set in here, then £10 by five means £50 on minimum spend across the five ad sets, and then Facebook will have the remaining £50 to play with. I also want to mention you should never have an end date because if you want to switch off a campaign, you just toggle it off. If you want to switch off an individual ad set or ad, you just toggle it off whenever you want. By setting an end date, you basically force your campaign to end on that day. And I just don't see the benefit in that because if you have a high performing campaign, you don't want to switch it off. So locations, I like to target multiple countries at the same time. So United States, Canada, Australia, Germany, France, Spain, Netherlands, and of course the UK at the top. There's a few other countries that I like to target. And if you want to advertise to these countries, make sure you check the shipping prices on AliExpress and make sure your suppliers actually ship to these countries because a lot of suppliers on AliExpress do not send to Australia and Germany and also Austria. So make sure you check that out. Next, suggest an audience. So when people refer to broad these interest targeting, this is what they're talking about. I like to test out different interests, especially if you're a beginner starting out and you're, let's just say you're selling dog products, you wanna be targeting dog owners. So I wouldn't actually just type dogs and target dogs animals because they could be people who just like dogs but they don't actually own a dog. So better interest would be like dog grooming, dog walking. And whenever you select these interests, you need to make sure you check the size on the right here. You can see on the right hand side, the size is only 3000 people and that's terrible. We don't want this. Dog walking, you can see here is employers. So the size is very small, 2000 only. And so you really wanna find interest where it's quite big, like 70 million. So dog breeds here, dog trainings. So you would assume with dog training that these are more likely to be a dog owner instead of dog lovers, right? So dog training, dog food is another good one. Um, dog walking maybe dog breeding, etc., and then dog grooming down here. And what I like to suggest is you click one, add an interest in, and you go on the right hand side here and you show estimated audience size. And you can see here is at 50 million, which isn't actually too bad with that many countries on. And I like to aim for anything above 20 million, which is just a random number, to be honest. You could start 10 million, 20 million, 30 million, it's up to you. But I like to aim for 20 million plus. So let's just say this interest didn't give us 20 million audience size, then I would add more interest in. And so that's that with the interest. And if you want to keep it broad, you simply just delete this interest.
I also want to touch bases on the placements down here. It says advantage plus on and you can actually set which platforms you want to advertise to. So personally for me, I don't like to leave the bottom two ticked on because I don't want my ads showing there. Uh, so I'll just untick those. Let's see placement controls. You can even go down here and set where it's shown. So like in-stream videos, find search results, cool feeds, sure. So that's how you change your placements for your ads. So now that's done, you can actually head over to your ad level. So on the ad level, I believe everything is kind of the same. So the first thing is identity. You want to connect your Facebook page and your Instagram page. If you don't have an Instagram account, create one for your business and start posting organically on there and connect your account. Next, we have the ad setup. So you can run single image or video campaigns, carousel or collection. I like to test different ones in different ad sets. So you can actually mix single image and carousel and collection into one ad set. However, if you want to run video ads, I do not recommend you mixing them up with these carousels or images or collection formats. So if you want to run video ads, leave them in a different ad set. The reason why is because video ads tend to take up all your spend. And so you're not given a fair chance to your images and carousel ads. So let's just do carousel and you want to set your website URL here and then go down all the way to add creative. So next we have the add creative. So you can see here that it's displaying multiple products and it's in the carousel cards and it's only showing the first image of each item. Now you can actually switch this to slideshow and it'll basically show a few different images pulled from your Shopify catalog. Again, you could just test both out. They're just small little tweaks. What you want to focus on is this primary text because your ad copy makes a big difference. For example, I like to call out my demographics in my text. So let's just say you're selling dog products. What I would write is calling all dog lovers. Are you fed up of blah, blah, blah. So something like that. And then what I like to do is save up to 50% off plus free worldwide shipping and that's it. And what you wanna do is create these yourself and also look at other successful advertisers. You don't wanna ask ChatGPT to just, oh, can you write me a primary text for my products? It doesn't work like that. You need to learn copywriting yourself and come up with these primary texts. And then what you can do is put it onto ChatGPT or DeepSeek and then you can ask for inspiration and come up with more primary texts. So now that's done, we can go down, make sure your call to action is shop now. You highlight your promo codes. If you don't have any, you just toggle it off. And then make sure your website event is toggled on so that your pixel collects the data so that your ads can optimize over time. Now, once you create this ad, what you wanna do is copy the first line of your primary text, go all the way back up to the ad name. And what I like to do is put it in there so I know the ad name is this. And then it'll be like a carousel dynamic ad, something like that, right? And that way you can identify this ad as calling all dog lovers. And then you'll quickly duplicate. And then this one, you'll change the ad name to be something else, depending on what the primary text is. So what I would like to do is duplicate this one more time. And then you'll have three different primary texts. Maybe one is single image, maybe and the other one is carousel, maybe the other one is collection. And again, if you wanna create video ads, then you put that in a new ad set. So now that this ad set is finished, what you do is duplicate this ad set by four times. And then you duplicate that. As you can see on the left hand side now, we have five ad sets. Let me just delete this one. And you'll be leaving the ads alone, but you'll be changing the ad set. So once you're in the ad set level again, you want to scroll all the way down. So what I'll do is I'll delete this, go back to the top, and I'll just name this broad. Broad all. And then you go to the next ad set and you'll change the interest. So you'll have five different ad sets with different interests. Maybe one's broad, maybe two of them's broad. And so with this method, you're testing different interests and you're also testing broad. So again, this campaign is 
set out campaign budget, but you can also use ad set budget so that you can actually set your own budgets at the ad set level. And that guys is how you create a new campaign with the new campaign setup. So it's actually not too bad. They basically just merged manual with advantage shopping campaign. I'm guessing they just applied AI to the manual campaigns now. Anyways, thank you for watching guys and staying to the end. If you enjoyed this video, smash that like button, subscribe to my channel for more content and peace.